This video has been doing the rounds and I've been tagged in it a number of times. I've seen a lot of comments on it and it's not something that hasn't come up before. Let's take a listen and then we'll have a chat about it. Okay, so where are we? We're in Winchester. In Winchester. Yeah. yeah, and are you refusing cash? Yes, and what's your name? My name is Izzy, I'm the assistant manager. Okay, so you're the assistant manager in the pub in Winchester yes. and you're adamant that you can't take a national currency. Yes. Okay, so that's all I've got. Okay, I'm afraid I can't tell you anything today then, unfortunately. Are you sure? Absolutely. Even though I can personally sue you for up to nine thousand pounds. We wouldn't be allowed to operate. We don't accept cash. You're not allowed to operate. It is relevant. Right, so just pausing there straight away, you can quite clearly see that she's saying that there are signs there, there are signs on the door, they don't accept cash, it's a cashless pub, and there are more and more of these as we move forward. So just to put this record straight, if it hasn't been put straight for you already, there are many great comments from uh, some people on X and various places that have got this right, which is that an establishment can refuse to take cash. It is not a mandatory requirement, contrary to what a lot of people believe, it is not a mandatory requirement that these establishments take cash in any form. They can take cash, they could say cash only, but in this particular scenario they say no cash, so card only. There's a sign at the front, there's a sign at the top, and it makes it perfectly clear that you have to pay by card and some places might accept bank transfer, depending on um, what it is. You might think of buying a car. Now, you wouldn't think of, well, many most people wouldn't think of going and buying a fifty or £80,000 car in cash, and if you did, most of them wouldn't accept it. They would have a bank transfer, so they know where the funds have come from. Money laundering, obviously, uh, as in to avoid money laundering. Now, then a lot of people will scream legal tender at the screen and think that, that applies here, that cash is a form of legal tender and therefore they have to accept it. But that is not how legal tender works. I've explained this in several other videos, but um, this again proves that uh, it's commonly misunderstood. So here we are again. Now, legal tender specifically refers to the defence of tender before claim, which is covered in our civil procedure rules under part 37. Now, it is a defence to a claim uh, if you tender money, you tender legal tender into court, as in you pay funds into court before the claim is brought against you. And this is known as the defence of tender before claim. And if you wish to rely on the defence of tender before claim, you must make this payment into court. Now, the last I checked on the guidance and I heard from somebody that tried to do this, it had to be done by check, but the court obviously said that they couldn't take a check. So there's a bit of a stalemate there. So that's a story for another day to unravel that part. But insofar as the rules work, this is how it works. You need to pay money into a court and it becomes the defense of tender before claim. Now, some people will then say, well, if you're prepared to make that offer and payment, etc., then the establishment must accept the cash as the offer to settle the debt that's created when you go into a restaurant or a bar or whatever. But again, that's not true, because this defence only applies when you've paid money into the court office, because it still does not require the establishment to take cash in any diminution of money that you have to offer. The establishment can choose how it takes payment. That could be by bank transfer, it could be by card, um, and obviously they have the choice of taking cash. Now, there's also potentially an offence uh, being committed here because let's take the reverse scenario. You go into a restaurant, you don't know that they only take card. Nothing suggests that they only take card. Then they come up to you and they say, here's your bill. You say, uh, here's some cash. And they say, I'm terribly sorry, sir, we only take card. And you say, oh, that's the first I've heard of that. There was no sign on the door. It wasn't in the menu. It wasn't on the table. It wasn't on the walls. It wasn't anywhere to be seen. I had no idea. I don't have any cards with me. I only have the cash. I'll have to leave you my details and come back, pay another time or whatever. If they call the police and say that you're making off without payment, which could apply to a restaurant, a bar, and 
obviously for fuel, then there is a potential offence of making off without payment under Section 3 of the Theft Act 1978. Now, this relies on a dishonest intention to avoid payment. So making off dishonestly so as to avoid payment uh, when you know that payment is required on the spot. And there's an intricate point to make here in that if you didn't know, as in my example, you didn't know that they don't accept cash um, and it's card only, then it's going to be very difficult for anybody to establish that you dishonestly made off without payment. If you said, I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know that you don't accept cash and you only accept card, I only have cash, I'm perfectly willing to pay, but I'll have to come back with a card and pay you by card, perhaps tomorrow or later this evening. Um, then it will be very difficult for anyone to prove that you've dishonestly made off without payment. But in the case of this, this video here, because the transaction had not yet taken place, they'd been refused to be served because they accept payment up front by card before they serve you. Um, if for whatever reason they had pulled a pint and the person said, well, here's my money, dumped it on the desk, I've seen one video like this before. If they dumped the money on the desk and said, well, here's your money, I'm taking the drink, that can well be a dishonest making off because they are not making payment in the form that is accepted by the establishment. Now, many people will find that ridiculous because many people will say, well, you know, cash is king, they should accept cash, etc. But that has its own problems. Dealing with cash has its own problems. And some establishments have just decided that they are not taking cash. This is happening more and more across the, the country. And so if they don't accept cash and they only accept card and you refuse, and you know that because there's science to say that, but you refuse to give them a card and you just dump cash on the desk, that could be dishonest because you know they don't accept payment in the form that you're offering. And so that differs from the definition of legal tender, which is paying the money into court as a defense of tender before claim uh, as set out in the civil procedure rules. And so that is what legal tender really means. Establishments can refuse to take cash if they wish, and many of them now do so, and they only take a card for a number of different reasons, not worth going into in this video, but that is entirely up to them. Um, the same argument, as an aside, goes for Scottish uh, notes as well, Scottish pounds, when people have asked, well, you know, surely we can use Scottish pounds throughout the rest of England and Wales. If they say, no, we don't accept it, then that's it, they don't accept it. A similar argument can be made for 50 pound notes. Now, nothing more embarrassing than having somebody checking and then calling someone else over to check a 50 pound note to see if it's real. Because sometimes, um, not that I withdraw cash anymore, but at some point I withdrew cash from banks. And sometimes if it's a large amount, that will give you 50 pound notes. But then when you try to use those 50 pound notes in a shop, they stand around examining it for nearly 10 minutes because they have so much fraud going on and 50 pounds is a lot of money to lose when they get a dodgy 50 pound note. So many places, therefore, just conclude that they are not going to accept 50 pound notes. So if you rock up with a 50 pound note and say, I demand you accept it, they can rightly refuse. And just because it is so-called legal tender doesn't mean the shop has to accept it. It is legal tender in a sense that it can be paid to settle a debt by the defense set out in the civil procedure rules doesn't mean the uh, shop or other establishment has to take it. So I have several other videos on this and uh, one very interesting case where somebody did call up a shop beforehand, confirm that they did accept, I think in that case it was commemorative coins, they, they confirmed that they did accept commemorative coins. In that one very interesting case where they perhaps relied on the assumption that the branch manager or desk assistant would not know that the establishment accepted those coins and therefore refused to accept them and therefore created a problem. But either way, that does bring it back to, was it dishonest? Was it dishonestly making off without payment? Well, no, because if they did call up in advance and the establishment confirmed they do accept those commemorative coins, they turned up to pay with those commemorative coins, that is clearly not dishonest. Um, just because there's a misunderstanding throughout the organization as to whether or not they accept those coins, that does not then therefore make it automatically dishonest on the part of the 
would-be defendant if they were charged with an offence of dishonestly making off without payment because they established that they do take the coins, so it can't be dishonest. So I hope you found that an interesting overview. Following on from that video, uh, make sure you do like the video and subscribe. Um, about 70% of you don't. Um, that kind of hurts my feelings. The channel gets about 5 million views every month. Not all unique, obviously, but about 70% of you that do watch don't subscribe. So please do that. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.